use your coffee. Again, still stuck in this little pattern. That's a hawk watching the chickens. Um, anyways, we're stuck in this pattern. Like, it's off, it's on, it's cloudy, it's not, it's sunny, it's humid, it's not, it's, I don't know. It's really weird, but I guess we're supposed to get some spice later. But, but this morning, fun. We're gonna go do, we're gonna go up to a big event. Um, up in Knoxville, they have, at the West Town Mall, cars and coffee, or coffee and cars, put on by one of the big auto dealers around, but just, it looked like hundreds of cars like parked in the parking lot and just everything from Lambos to Ferraris to classics to everything and it looks like a huge event so we're gonna head up there go check that out we'll see but I'm excited to go look at some cars I just, just gonna put a just gonna put a 99 Ford Taurus with 13,000 original miles in there but I don't think we're gonna enter it I don't think Babs will let me whatever gets all mad because she sees full-size Broncos here. Go oh, see, they have them. Like, no, they got dealer plates. Cause no one can get them. You okay with them popping the hood on this one? Yeah. It's clean. It's clean. <laughs> Fab's insane. Uh, she doesn't get why some guys pop the hoods. Because just the motor just looks terrible or there's zip ties on it or but you just, you just, you pop the motor because you want other guys to look at it and get ideas and be creative of how they can but do if things. But it's zip tied together, there is no need for it. But not all, not all of us boys have millions of dollars to spend on our engines and make them look all pretty and stuff. We gotta do what we gotta do. Zip ties and duct tape work just fine. What about the Tesla? They pop the hood on the Tesla. What do you think of the, the, the hood on the Tesla? Yeah. I can store something. <laughs> So I think that's one of my favorite things right there, is how simple the engine used to be. And you could work on it. Like, we could work on it. Like, you pop the hood on some of these cars now, they're all computer rides, you can't, can't do anything. You're never gonna figure it out. Babs, I found you a car. Instead of a Bronco, what if we get you this? Mm, I'll drive it, but I want my Bronco. Come on, you can, you can deliver mail, you can take the kids to soccer. Like, it's just totally universal. Look at this thing. Where's yeah, the you pop the other one up. So where's the other one gonna ride? It's perfect. With the jump seat. So if you had your choice, Bronco or Toyota Land Cruiser, that one. I would take the Land Cruiser. Ooh, take the Land Cruiser. <laughs> G 
Jeep owners need to take some tips from the Subaru owners. That's what your car should look like if you're an off-roader. Not like those with little ducks in the window. So me personally, I've never been a huge like Corvette fan. Corvette, Corvette. But these new Corvettes are beautiful. Like that is just a, I don't know if it's just because it's got a Ferrari look or something to it, but it is gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Instead of the Bronco, get that. Shoo. So clean, so clean inside. My goodness. I mean, anybody would take this one hands hands down over the new ones. It's insane how much these are going for too. So clean. And again, it's actually an engine you can work on. Look at that little engine. So simple, such simpler times. Look at that, nothing in there, you're just cruising. You gotta sing songs, just family life. Look at this, this thing's pretty. So I don't know, I have an appreciation for the inside of the car. I feel like you can do anything you want to the outside. Yeah. Like you make the outside look beautiful. The inside, but if you take your time and you redo the inside of a vehicle matching the time and just everything is clean and you don't put anything that shouldn't belong during that time period so much more respect for the vehicle because it is hard to, to restore some of these things and I'm really disappointed there are a lot of cars and there has only been two coffee stands so the fact that we're including coffee in cars and coffee or coffee and cars disappointment is a disappointment and the only coffee that has is not that good. She's, she's not she's not lying. <laughs> online like it's like super bass they'll like have someone sit in the front seat turn the music on and like everything vibrates she said the, the windshield pops in and out the sun pops off all the time so six six subs holy cow so he said with with that car because it's the v8 they got to put extra alternators in there because it draws so much power he said his buddy he has four alternators in theirs to keep it going he needs about 600 amps or whatever just to run that. Well, that's insane. He couldn't play it because it's actually too loud, so they won't let him play here. But I'm gonna pop a video in really quick uh, just to show you the one that I saw because Babs hasn't seen it either. But this is crazy what these cars do. Sometimes I like seeing other stuff like that, like people that do with their cars versus just exhaust and the intake. You know, it looks like every other thing, but it's really cool like seeing that. It's a baby Macy. Tony, we could have entered the Tory for sure. Could have popped the hood. Like that engine is spotless. People would have been looking at Tory. Like they would have been stoked to see the Tory. Right. Ready to go home? Ready to go home. Did you have fun? That's cool. Yeah. I just wish there was coffee. More food trucks, maybe. Maybe we walked the whole thing. I was gonna say maybe there's somewhere else, but I don't see him. That was fun though. That was a very cool event to uh, check out. Bye.